Hello and welcome back to G-Wing Games Plays Mass Effect Andromeda! Last time we finished off our mission on Hyperion 7 or whatever it was. Um, anyway, it was supposed to be this uh, special planet where we were going to be able to set up shop as the human arc. Uh, but it didn't work out that great, um, and our dad died. So we're now the Pathfinder, and now we're going to go see all that entails. The priority. Start running power and data links first, then move to secondary comm traffic. Got it. I'll follow up with their engineers later. Just a little, uh, idle chit-chat. And if I hold still and click, it should show me the where I need to be going. Maybe not. Um, we'll just cruise on this way. Hello, teammates randomly running into walls. Ooh, container. Uh, rivets and Omnigel canister. Uh, semi-molten mixture of alloys and synthetic polymers used in Milky Way technology for rapid fabrication. Okay. Those look like crafting materials to me. Uh, okay, I think this is where we came in and, uh, fixed this panel when shit was going bad earlier. Uh, teammates seem to be leading me this way. Uh, oh, good. Tram. And we're going to the... It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs the a support crew. Just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs. Means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one? After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. Yeah. Rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. I feel like this our ship should be prepared to have real root food and shower. Here we are. Uh I don't see any champagne. Hold Where is everybody? Track. Okay. Locate well, next personnel. Be, right? It's like everything's on standby. If it's a surprise party, they're doing an awfully good job of it. Oh, good. Venus here. My favorite freaking VI the construct. The <sighs> oh, good. Just keep walking, Leo. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. Okay, living arrangement. Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7? The gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3? Or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5? Whichever you choose, Rest assured, our Pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. That's a lie. Oh boy. <laughs> Habitat 7. That's where we landed. She's way out of date. How does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey. I feel like I should have my weapons Once with me. Cleared, our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists like you are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? The place is deserted. What can you tell me about the Andromeda galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over two million light years away from the Milky Way galaxy. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. Yay! The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune awaits. 
And I like that it shows you which ones you've talked and which ones you haven't. What is the Nexus? The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization efforts. It is the first destination for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Not At least life support is working. It. What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after-effects you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? That's all. It has been my hey, she didn't really give us that much useful information. For further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star is you. Current wait time for immigration processing is... Unknown error... Right. That was helpful. Very much. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to be blocked from going down. Plants are still alive. Huh? We can kind of sneak there. Maybe he's got champagne. Uh, this isn't going to be human, is it? Or even a uh, Milky Hi Way. There. Oh, no, it is. We're from Archiperion, and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an arc? Yeah, we just got in. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. But we thought you were all dead. Why? What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. Hey, Victorian. I'm Kandros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. But aren't you expecting us? You're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Okay. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit okay. a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst I'm is... I'm gonna out. hold on hitting Y until dialogue seems to be done. Okay, there we go. No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the locals? So far, we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with an attack. We had a first contact situation on Habitat 7. Whole thing went south. They tried to kill us. That wasn't first contact. We know about them. Those aliens are going to be a real problem. This day just keeps getting better. Hooray! We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an arc to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. Hello. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. We've heard about what happened, and we're ready to help. We could use any supplies you have. Food, water, we're short on everything. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. 
Where's the Pathfinder? I am looking at it. You're not Alec Ryder. My no. father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources. But that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A golden world. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? My father believed I am. If you trusted him with a job, you'll have to trust his judgment. Your father won't be around to fix things if you fail. That's no way to treat a guest. That's a weird voice for a Krogan. I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. That just sounds too much like a human too. voice. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Already? Welcome to the Nexus. I can't believe how far off track things have gone. It's bad, but it's not over. Not yet. Ma'am, that voice is really bugging me. Let me show you something. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. Hooray. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. <sighs> I'm not sure I'm gonna feel like wanting to. Okay. Uh, seems like we're going this way. Might as well just get to know the tech nexus. He could talk with basically everybody. Um, so if we go to we can set this as our tract. Let's, let's do the side stuff. Why not? Uh, okay. Let's go talk with this person. All right, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. He got... Not how he well. died. I pulled those logs. What happened with Pathfinder? I don't want to get into it. Things went wrong. And now I'm the one you have to deal with. Alec Ryder wouldn't accept that kind of ultimatum. Damned if I will. We'd never have left home if we... <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. You seem like you, you had a closer a personal either. relationship with my Maybe father than I did. Your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. There's also the strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains and research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. Except that we we did, you know, How clean you the air on that, leadership? that planet. I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me, left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. 
And here we are, idling. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends? Or... I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a pathfinder until they've path found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack, they disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry, 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Not sure who started it, but we're calling them Ket. Kandros will know more. Maybe too much. Well, that's you good to know. Trust him. I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder, not repeat it. Ugh, goddamn poetry. You've had no colony successes in over a year. How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles. We can't just plot down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The Initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even me. Excuse right. me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the Initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove um, me wrong. I'm gonna go ahead and say that, uh, you're the ones who have fucked things up and not my dad. So, uh, so we're there. Um, let's talk to at least one more person. Uh, this person looks close. Boban Sesame. Oh. This is the planet where we landed. Oh. Habitat 7. I think this is the it main. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. I thought it didn't measure up as Pathfinder. Director Addison keeps her own counsel. I keep mine. And when you disagree? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end... The scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way. Yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into. The Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. Oh, that's and nice. Now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. How? Oh. You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay. But you said every planet you found is unlivable. So, how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Just point me to my ship and I'll be out of here. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that... Ah. Come on, Sam, what are you doing? Ryder, Casey, me, and Sam live on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. Alrighty. Uh, we should talk with this guy, but we're at 20 minutes. It's a reasonably good stopping point. Um, uh, possible for me to save?
Uh, I'll figure that out. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, folks. And I'll see you guys next time.